No, I'm just kidding, guys. It's Stevie Nicks. There's a message here. Yes. Maybe you need to say, ooh. <laughs> Welcome to the singles read. Please play that today. It will change your mood. Welcome, Libras. This is a quick one. Uh, I'm doing my extreme workout today in the mountain. I do make myself up over here because I do videos. I film for you. So if you guys are like, why the hell is she fully made up? It's because um, I can't come on here looking like a crow. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, <laughs> looking like a girl. Welcome back. Today is for the singles. I'm going to try to keep this under nine minutes. But you know, Stevie's playing. I might start to sing. We don't know. We don't know. No. Uh, welcome, Libras. Sorry, I'm like really on a lot of pre-workout today. We need a hush puppy on that. So welcome back, Libras. We're going to do newly single. Like if you've only been single for a couple months, we're going to couple long-term singles. And then we're going to get intentions and outcome. So that's the order. It's going to go in. It will also be timestamped today. I saw 111 on the clock. Let's get going, okay? Because we don't want it to be a 17 minute video. You know what's funny? Lately, people have been complaining the videos are too long. So what I'm going to do in the future is uh, I think the part one and part twos are like more your thing because you can choose video one or two, okay? Based on satisfactory emotions that day. We're gonna start with the archetype deck because people want me to go back to this. Thank you, Natalie. Not Natalia. Natalia is going to say that's not me. It was Natalie who said, can you please use the archetype deck? So this is Archeo by Nick Bantock. That's T-O-C-K. Um, I do have, oh man, there's company. I got to hurry. There's people on their bikes and I got a flipper already. Thank God. Okay. So this is how the person is viewing you. This is how someone sees you today. Um, I believe we labeled this the euphoria card on that evening. I'm making a mess, Libra. I'm making a mess. I just dropped the whole Archeo deck. So it's this lavender card and we're going to look it up. Okay. This is how your person sees you. Yesterday was, I believe it was called eccentric and you can go see that in communities. That card was so beautiful. It looked like an aviator. Okay. So let me turn off the music. The music was still blaring. Let's look that up. They see you as intimate. The card says intimate. It also reads sideways, intimate. Let me look it up. 65 is the number. We're just chilling too. Oh, I forgot to remove my seatbelt. Um, removing your seatbelt is actually <laughs> coming right toward me. Okay, I'm just going to continue. Intimate. The intimate card brings sweet sensuality and intuitive understanding of all your emotional and physical needs, moods, and temperature changes. She has an infinite capacity for understanding your longings, whether it be sensual, erotic, or merely a need for gentle comforting of your weary spirit. So this person is intimately healing, okay? The intimate comes to you without artifice, and your night embrace is sweet, honeycombed. Yesterday, we had the honeycomb. Um, oracle card. It was summer. Actually, it was called summer. Beyond the posturing, we are still creatures of being sensual, longing for beauty and opulence every day. Romance and orientalists masked in our denim synthetics. I don't know what that means, but we'll, we'll put this up in communities today. From one multitasking event to the next, we are always sensual. Are we not scared of the vacuum that waits to devour us, which probably is the matrix, which we all live in? When the day is done and the lights turned out and loneliness threatens to make ice cold your sheets, she enters, passing through the air's dark creases to slip beside you in your bed. And that's all it says. So intimacy, her smell is intoxicating. Her gentle touch leads you away from fear and anxieties. Okay, I'm going to take um, a really quick pause here because there's company coming. I'm just going to... Um, I'm going to stop for a quick couple seconds, okay? And I think here, let me see. There's another card I wanted to show you in the Archeo deck, which you got yesterday. I'm going to turn to it because I actually remember finding it. And I'm so sorry, you guys. It's very awkward because it's my choice. I did it in an awkward place. <laughs> but um, this is the card you got yesterday, which was eccentric. And they are red sideways too. <laughs> I'm so sorry people walking toward me um I probably shouldn't have done a video here 
Okay, they're gone. So eccentric, um, this means that someone views you in that way too. That's the attribute that was showing. And you have the intimate card today, which is very feminine. Um, if you're a feminine Libra in here, that's your card. And for you guys, that's your feminine energy that's popping through. Everybody has even levels of masculine and feminine here. So since my company, <laughs> they were staring for such a long time. Okay. So let's concentrate on that energy because the day before you had very masculine energy and then today you got a very feminine card. So I do want to evaluate that maybe in the description today. I'll find out more between reading them. All right. And you guys can read it in the description box after this post. So let's begin. We have 78 cards of the Awaken deck for our newly singles. Give me messages, please. Messages 555 on the clock, by the ways. You might hear my stomach as well. It's growling like a hawk. I'm very, very hungry. Peeker. Six of Pentacles. If you're newly single, all you want is reciprocation. Six of Pentacles is giving back. It's also generosity. You just want someone to give back to the situation. I feel like for some of you, you're cutting your losses. That's what I hear. You cut your losses. You're newly single. You're looking for a new horizon and you're ready to plant your seeds outward. A lot of you are ready to look for a new relationship. Six of Pentacles is your reciprocal nature. And I think you're ready to also give. You're prepared from healing. Also, more messages turned over. Justice, Libra and energy, Libra strong. So we have that here and the world card. Like I said, something closed out. You did receive justice for it too. I believe this person um, probably showed their ass. I do think that you won in a case of details here. I think for some of you, some details were brought forward, possibly the truth. It's also karma with the 11 major arcana card of justice. So let's see here. I'm going to move. Let me see if I brought another deck with me. I have the Falcon card. This one's beautiful. I wanted to show you. Justice, the Six of Pentacles. Let me clarify the Six of Pentacles for you. Let me clarify. Six of Pentacles, please, for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Libra. Lots of people today here. I don't know why I came. <laughs> I really don't know sometimes why I do things. Libra. Ten of Cups. So wish fulfillment, I don't know if this is coming in the near future, but newly single Libras, I do hear here that something was justified in your situation. Happiness will be brought to you. You will receive reciprocation. Uh, I do think some of you, it'll start off as a friendship in the beginning, but it will take a long time for this person to really earn their stripes with you. You've done a long ways of healing. Um, and I also think the Six of Pentacles and this Justice card, they're very much a pairing today, okay? It's the whole stack. But I do think here you had gotten some form of justice through karma with this person. You were the person's karma. That's what I wanted to say, okay? Um, they're, they have to watch you move on for you newly singles, okay? Uh, this could be happening in the summer as our video picked up yesterday. And uh, I think some of you will will see this person again, okay? It might be an awkward friendship run-in. It might be through mutuals. But I feel like uh, it's going to be a new chapter with someone that will earn their way to your heart, okay? Let's do long singles now, long-term singles. Sorry for the awkward pauses. It's all the joggers taking away all my good feelings. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. Long-term singles now, please. Spirit and angels, I am open. I am open to what you need to say. I'm also shuffling very hard, Libra. All right, message flipper. The chariot for the long-term singles. You are required to move at this time. The chariot is rapid. You don't have to rush and move but that's what's being advised, okay? Um, you could also have cancer somewhere in your moon or rising Libras. I know a lot of cancer moons, a lot of them. I am also myself a cancer moon and it's detrimental to my health. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, detrimental to my health. All right, keep going, uh, keep it moving, Ari. Okay, more messages for the long-term singles. Thank you, top of the deck. Three of swords, we'll talk. Two of cups. Ace of Cups. 
nice long-term singles, except for the Three of Swords. Let's talk. The Three of Swords is something that is still compelling in your life. It still draws you in a little bit. There are days that you continue to think about it. That's what this card tells me. It's about pain. It's heartbreak. For some of you, uh, it's a loss of trust. I feel like you're still dealing through that uh, self-therapeutic ways as well. The Chariot, though, being your advice, it's also Major Arcana. The newly single ones also have Major Arcana as their advice or that they receive justice. I kind of feel like if you don't move, you don't get you don't get the abundance. So let's say here you hermit quite often, okay? Uh, let's say you don't put yourself out there. You won't be able to receive the love, which is w what you deserve, Libra. So I kind of feel like part of it is you putting in effort. You got to put in the effort. Then the Ace of Cups arrived. That's why it's here. It's a signal for me to tell you in this quick read and the Two of Cups, a soulmate, a twin flame, a partner that you can see yourself in, enjoy hobbies with, um, feel those hugs too. It's a lot of affection I'm feeling with this card. Um, as you can see, they're about to toast. Okay. And it kind of looks like they're about to celebrate something. Okay, I do want you to keep that in mind today with the imagery of the card. It's a celebration of two people that are very much meant to be together. So once you do this release of the Three of Swords, some of you still deal with it. I totally get it. Um, some days are harder than others. Some days you could still be crying about it. Okay, uh, but the Ace of Cups can't come in until you release. So that's about that cup of love. All right, I kind of feel like somebody already likes you with that ace of cups cancer pisces scorpion <laughs> all right let's continue so let's go with the overall intentions what are the intentions of the person in general too it's not going to resonate for everybody what's the intentions of people that are now talking to the libra what do they want thank you flipper and it's one hierophant is it the hierophant yeah taurus energy you could be talking to a taurus of course I wanted to tell you that on uh, April 6th, the day of the Libra full moon, it will be, I believe it's five degrees in Taurus. So Venusian energy likes that. It's its natural home. I don't know if it's five degrees. I'm going to have to look it up. That's its natural state. It likes, it loves to be in that uh, area. It loves to be in Venusian Libra and Taurus um, areas, but it will be mostly in Taurus. Um, the Two of Swords is the deacon of which the full moon will shine on. That's the card in tarot. So you're dealing with crossover effects, crossroad effects as well of how you feel. Uh, look up the Two of Swords if you want a little more information. But that is the deacon of the card in which the moon will shine its light on. Okay, Libra, if you guys didn't know a lot about the Libra full moon coming on April 5th um, into 6th. Okay, it happens in midnight. So their energy is for commitment. I think somebody around you, Libra, I kind of feel like it's a friend that you speak to. They don't have to be a Taurus. I kind of feel like they see you as commitment energy, but why do I get some of you don't see this person in that way? It's like you're a little bit rejecting the idea. They're not your exact type. Um, you're being a little picky. You are being picky. <laughs> so I, I think that that's what's going on there. I think it's not up to your standards and that's okay. Some of you will uh, continue on your journey, finding someone who's a little bit more compatible with you. And I highly suggest that. Okay, no settling. There's no settling. Let's continue. More intention, please. One more card for intention. Bottom of the deck. What did I say? What did I say? Two of swords showed up and this is the exact deacon of the full moon. Now you have two here. What else? Five makes a seven lucky seven would be lucky um it's a little bit protective you know the two of swords you're protecting the right things though that's commitment so it's got to be up to your ideals and i kind of feel like some of you know who this person might be or you're attracted to a certain type make sure your walls come down a little bit there's some people who just want to spend time with you to, they don't want nothing intimate they don't want anything greater than that um just give it a little time here libra okay my my honest advice and i don't like to give a lot because people get mad but i think um go with your standards but not everybody is here for just a good time some people really just want to take you out for a hamburger um and i think that that's the real meat of it here they just want to spend time with you help you heal okay if they sense you've been a little sad um king of swords is coming out this is about 
the ethical high ground. This is about where you stand at this current time. I think that's your full moon stance. I think you're going to be king of swords in it quite a bit. Okay. We also have the nine of pentacles, independence. Um, it's a single card. A lot of people like to speak of it as a single person. So let's continue the sun for today. You have four of swords. I wanted to mention in yesterday's reading with the bumblebee, if you guys remember, that's so strange. It's all repeating. The four of swords can be a long break between the two of you too. I forgot to mention that in the video of yesterday. It could be a long break. Queen of swords up next. Um, she's no nonsense. Um, she has a little bit of a shrewdness. She can be shrewd. Some people say she's mean, but you know what? Sometimes, and this is Libra, um, that's so scary. Lots of major arcana that was ours. Again, Libra. There's Capricorn here. A little bit of Capricorn with the Queen of Pentacles. Um, yeah, Five of Pentacles ends it. Somebody still feels left out. This could be you or your person. And it could interchange some days. You could feel like you were the one left out in the cold. And I feel for you if that's you. I've been there myself. And it's not fun. It's not fun. I feel like... There's a lot of soothing things that you need to do to get out of the Five of Pentacles. You've got to soothe. Uh, sometimes meditation works, okay, but it just depends on the feels of the day. How do I conclude this? The Empress follows, by the way, Libra Taurus. So it's all that energy of the full moon coming full circle. I will check if it's five degrees Taurus. I don't know. There's like conflicting reports in each moon um, entry of the data. It's like everybody says different things so the queen of swords here is you let's talk about it the four of swords i think you have to rest your mind this is all about mentally resting uh restocking it's about review of your life too and how you feel a lot of you are parents um a lot of you are in a place in your life where you don't want any nonsense so the queen of swords and the king of swords both here major major decision making i think a lot of you are going to keep away from things that just overtax you okay uh, so i want to end it there thank you guys again for the long-term singles there was the chariot and justice libra major arcana for those of you that are newly single there was something that was um awarded to you you might also be reaping other things like pentacles um you might be getting physical rewards for what you did and what you stood up for okay this was quick and it was 17 minutes oh my god oh my god thank you guys for joining me today i hope this video helped um i will keep this posted until the at late afternoon and then we're gonna do a new love reading for no communication a little bit later once i get home Thank you guys for joining me for this mini live. I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you for all the daily support. And um, I will have these cards in community so you could further look at them. Okay. Bye-bye.